Spare Doctor, welcome to stream. Marcello is... Yep, that's Marcello. I, re I barely remember him, but I do- I remember him being a thing. That's about it. I'm no monster, I am a king. Blast every one of those Templar twerps. There's no point screaming, we gotta use our heads and get out of this cell. Can't you think of anything, Nova? Probably not. Shh. Someone's coming. Oh, is Angelo coming to save us? Good evening, everyone. Glad to see you're all looking so well. Uh, come here, you! Now, now, control your temper. I must apologize for before. Perhaps you will accept this as conciliation. What are you up to? The guard upstairs might hear if we talk now. I'll explain later. Come on. Angela was awesome. Follow me. The guards up ahead. Right, no one make a sound, okay? Oh, do I gotta play a minigame where I, like, avoid guards? Or maybe not. I seasoned his supper with a generous pinch of sleeping powder. Perfect. It worked. Sleeping like a baby. Okay, through here. Right, we're safe in here. You can talk again now. Good! Tell us what's going on! What ordeal do you intend to put us through next, hmm? Like I said, I'm sorry about before. If I hadn't lied about the ring, Marcello would have been onto me like a shot. And I haven't got anywhere else to go if I'm chucked out of here. But I came to get you out, didn't I? Come on, don't be angry. Anyway, let me show you something you won't have seen before. Well, what is it? There. And that's real blood on those spikes, you know. If I were to throw you in there and shut the door, your whole body would be skewered. What's your point? I could make you holier than thou without so much as getting my hands dirty. Not bad, eh? <laughs> Can you hear me out there? There's a secret passage in here! Oh, I, for a second I thought it was killing him or something. Like I said, not bad, eh? Yeah, not bad at all, Angelo. Pretty good. I can't quick save anymore. I'm for it. If we hang around for too long, they'll catch me helping you escape. Let's move. Give you a bit of thorn in our side at times. I mean, I don't really remember much of Angelo. I do remember him being a pretty cool character. Everything I remember about Angelo is from Heroes 2. But um, I don't really remember him much in this game. That's the spirit. What's your game, eh? First you grass on us for something we ain't done, and then you come and help us. Sorry if I've confused you. The people here have a bit of a trust issue with me. I couldn't stick up for you before. It would have backfired. The man who interrogated you, Marcello, he hates me. That's why I had to let him put you in the cells before I could help you. That's all well and good, but you still don't know us from Adam. Ain't you worried about us being friends with this old monster, eh? You're just happy to let us go, are ya? Oh, you meant Aunt? Oh, you meant Marcello. That makes more sense. But I, again, I don't really remember much of Marcello. But, um, you meant Marcello. I had a feeling. That makes sense, though. True, I don't know anything about you. And I wasn't there when you were caught. But I do know you saved the abbot's life. Because just before you were brought to the interrogation room, the sinister feeling that's been lingering in the air went away. I must thank you for that. I'm not so ruthless that I'd hang you out to dry. And besides, I couldn't stand by while there was a lady in trouble. 
Marcello's a rather talented inquisitor, you know. This leads outside. I remember this place. I visited Medea. here. My Medea, you're safe. This is the place I visited, and I didn't know what to do here. I guess I know now. Were you lonely without me? There, there. It's all right. We'll leave this horrible place at once. The princess and I will go on ahead. Make sure you're not too far behind. Yeah, we'll try. Princess? Whatever. Come on, let's go. You'd have to work pretty hard to mess up your escape from here. Anyway, I'm sorry for all the trouble. So, this is farewell. May the goddess watch over you on your journey. Oh no, I want you to join us. What do you mean by that, Angelo? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can't leave us hanging like that. The bridge. Is the whole abbey on fire? Surely that jester didn't come back again. I'm sure he did. Oh no. I've got to save the abbot. This is less than ideal. Hopefully Domegas can stand still and we can actually have our vengeance on him. Hoping that's the case. Oh look, all the enemies changed. Well, not all of them, but some of them from the Ruined Abbey came. I was wondering when I could quick save again. I guess I can now. This is uh, quite the fire. Sinister presence again. No, not sinister. It's worse than that. It's pure evil. As if all the demons of hell had gathered to feast upon Abbot Francisco! <gasps> it's locked from the inside. Marcello! Are you in there? Damn! What's going on? It's no good! It won't budge. Yulon! Did you follow me here? Doesn't matter. I need your help. Just one last time, alright? We're going to have to do this by brute force. There might just be enough of us. The door's locked from the inside. We've got to break it down. Come on, everyone together! Oh, well, that works. Yes. All right, let's go save him. Oh, whoops. What happened? Come on, stay with it. Tell me what happened. Thank the goddess. You've come. 
help the abbot. Uh, who on earth did this? He's dangerous. Captain Marcello is in tr trouble. Uh. Upstairs. Come on, let's go. You're with me, right? Of course. Thanks. Yeah, let's go. The Jester. You must save the Abbot. Marcello! It was all that jester. I couldn't stop him. He's strong. <laughs> but you can't let him. This is an order. Templar Angelo, get the abbot to safety. <laughs> now, nothing stands in my way. Ugh. You dare lay a finger on Abbot Francisco. Don't worry, Marcello. I will be fine. I have given myself to the goddess. If it is her wish, I am prepared to die. But, wretched sinner, if that is not her wish, nothing you can do will ever harm me. The goddess will protect us all from whatever evil you can muster. Well, well, what faith you have. Let's put it to the test, shall we? Wait, 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 wait! Go, oh, blimey! It's been a while. Do make us. Ah, if it isn't King Toad, looking as small and ugly as ever. Shut up! Return my daughter and I to normal at once! Do you realize what you've done to my castle? Uh, what? Such a pity. It seems fate and your benevolent goddess are both on my side. <laughs> yes, such a pity. Poor Francisco. is such sweet sorrow. <laughs> He's done it again. Just escaped after causing like ma like devastation. No pun intended, mass devastation. The following day, under a heavy cloud of rain, Abbot Francisco's body was committed to the ground.
Meanwhile, Domega slipped away into the darkness once again. Marcello, who somehow managed to escape serious injury, explained to everyone the events of the previous night. Nova and the party were cleared of any suspicion. Everyone at the funeral felt a terrible sorrow at the loss of the abbot, and the heavens too wept tears of grief. The rain continued until dawn, the start of a new day. Ah, you're awake. I realize I said it before the funeral, but I just wanted to assure you that everyone knows you're innocent. If it weren't for you, Captain Marcello could well have been killed too. We're all in your debt. Anyway, the Templar Captain has summoned you to his office. See you later then. Don't forget. Okay then. Let's head there then. Hmm? Oh, you. And the captain's been waiting for you. Hurry up. the true culprit. In the name of the goddess, we must strike down that diabolical jester. But I cannot leave here now. As the new abbot, I have much to do. I must be here to guide my people. Sir, I was wondering, according to what King Trode tells me, you are all pursuing Dormagus. So I have a proposal. I would like my brother Angelo to accompany you on your quest. Brother? I thought you said you wouldn't have a rule breaker as a brother. Quiet! I wasn't talking to you. Angela, you are the only one we can spare at the moment. Everyone else here has duties to fulfill. Only you are without such responsibilities. I'm useless, you mean. No need to beat about the bush. Fine, I understand. You've made yourself perfectly clear. I will leave the Abbey. I will travel with these people. And I will avenge the Abbot's murder. I'll be waiting by the carriage with Medea, then. Very well, then. I entrust Angelo to your care, and wish you well on your journey. Okay, then. Let's, um... Uh, head back down. Now we have to get back to- we're back to square one, chasing Domagus once again, not knowing a single place of where he can be. Hey, Angelo. Hello again. Well, it looks like we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. I hope you don't mind me coming along. I'm not doing this because Marcello ordered me to. I'm doing it for Abbot Francisco. He was like a father to me. That jester, Dulmagus. 
You can't get away with this. And this place. I'll be glad to escape. It's no hardship being asked to join you, believe me. And anyway, I promised you, didn't I? I said I'd reward you for helping me. <laughs> what kind of reward? So, Jessica, from now on, I'll protect you. I won't leave your side. Consider me your personal bodyguard. Sure, Romeo. In your dreams. I <laughs> get rejected. Jessica's mine. I will marry her by the end of the game. I... I will make it happen. Whatever has to happen, I will make it happen. Okay, let's hit the road. No hate to Angelo, I still like Angelo a lot.